have both been waiting for this day for almost four years now, but in reality, it's been the entirety of both of our lifetimes. With that said, I can't wait to get the opportunity to live out the rest of my life with you by my side as my wife. This gift is a symbol of our lives together, where we've been and where we will go. I want you to use this necklace to remind yourself that like the pearl, it takes time to develop things important. Love, memories, family, faith, which in the end is always worth the time taken to form. The pearl is beautiful from the inside out as this marriage and the beautiful woman I get to call my wife. I can't wait to start off our lives together and continue to build and add each pearl along the way. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Emma, when we first met, I was five years old. And of course, I don't remember it. And as I stand up here with you now, I regret not remembering and cherishing every second of my life that I've gotten to spend with you, even that first time that happened over 20 years ago. During college, I met you again, but this time there was no forgetting. Your stunning beauty left me at a loss of words, as it still does today and as it does right now. And your wholeness, kindness, and strong-willed nature left me amazed. I left that day with a feeling and a willingness to start waiting, because I knew I was waiting for my wife. Throughout that year, we would run into each other occasionally on campus, just long enough to say hi, but I adored these little moments as it continued to grow, my respect for you as a friend, but better yet, it continued to show me that any amount of time with you is priceless. You're the calm to my storm and the person who makes me feel the most safe and secure in this unpredictable world. You're my absolute best friend. I vow to always support your dreams and push you to your fullest potential. But above all, I vow to put you in our marriage and future family first before all else but God, being faithful, true, and honest at all times. I choose you today, tomorrow, and every day thereafter, and promise to love you more each day than the last. Well, it is my privilege uh, to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. July and Emma Joe. You're one of the most committed people I know, and your compassion for others is so inspiring. You are always there to lend a hand for those in need and never hesitate in doing so. Emma, I know how much you mean to July because as soon as y'all started dating, I heard about you every single day. And I couldn't have imagined a better person for my best friend to spend the rest of his life with. I love you both so much, and I know you will both take care of each other and live an amazing life together forever. July and Emma, Lori and I thank God every day for blessing us with the opportunity to learn how to become a mom and a dad by teaching us that sacrificing and giving up our selfish ways to love and care for someone else is the greatest wealth from the very life that he blessed us with. And we can clearly see how he blessed your families with each of you. To Emma and July. And most importantly, I want to thank the uh, Austin and Slack families for giving us our first daughter. And I think it comes with a cat. 
So, comes with a cat, Fred says. Yeah. Okay, so we got a cat too. Anyways, guys, Toast July and Emma. friendship that I will always cherish. In July, thank you so much for taking care of my greatest treasure for the last four years. Emma's heart and smile has never been so much brighter ever since you came into her life. So, cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Cornhusk Jost.